Hello everyone, and welcome to Sienna Saints Weekly. I'm your host, Kyle Schnitzer, catching up on all the action around the Saints. Stay tuned later in the show for this week's trivia question and your chance to win a Sienna Saints prize pack. The Sienna men's basketball team found themselves coming off a big win against Maris, ending a three-game slide. But building momentum is something the Saints have had trouble creating. Traveling two hours north from New York City comes the Manhattan Jaspers. And joining me live now is center Odie Anasicki to discuss this week's Game of the Week. Odie, how's it going? How are you doing, Kyle? How you know. And now here is the game of the week. The Manhattan Jaspers and Santa Saints facing off. Odie, what can you tell us about this game? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a great game. The Gold Rush game was a lot of fun. Uh, definitely a fantastic atmosphere, especially playing on ESPN. Uh, it was a great game. Uh, can you talk about Trinity Bergeen? Um, he hasn't played much of the season. And this is kind of a coming out party for him. Yeah, Trinity played great. I mean, he played like the player that we expected uh, when he got here. Obviously, he had some trouble this year, but he came in, gave us a spark, and uh, hit some big shots. And uh, it was one of Rakeem Brooklyn's best games as well, coming off a back injury. Um, how has he progressed from his freshman year? You know, Rock's playing great. He's playing a lot more discipline and confidence. He's hitting big shots first, making plays, and getting to the free throw line. And for you, this wasn't your best statistical game. How did you do your best to help your team out? I mean, for me, uh, I mean, I know I'm going to see double teams a lot. Uh, my job is to get the ball to my open teammates. They were making plays, hitting shots. Uh, I've really made my impact here on the defensive end. And uh, coming up right now is Rob Poole's big uh, basket and the free throw. Um, how big of a basket was that for Poole in his progression? Rob has been playing great. He's playing like a great uh, uh, leader for us, uh, hitting shots from the perimeter and playing excellent defense. Uh, his drive at the end of the game here was well, definitely an uh, important part of the game. All right, and moving away from the game, a uh, few games left of the max season. Teams, you know, been up and down all season. Um, what's your, what's the team chemistry going into the last few games? I think the season's going really well. Uh, we're obviously having our ups and downs. We're just starting to play a lot better. I think we're a team that's starting to find our identity. Now we're getting some guys back. I'm looking forward to finishing the season strong. Now the biggest, the rush is for the top six positions in the MAC standing. So you guys get the first round by. How pivotal is it for you guys to, you know, get into that position? I think it's really important. Um, obviously, staying out of the out of the playing game in the MAC tournament will be uh, really imperative for us to, uh, to have some more success. Uh, I think it's a goal that's definitely realistic right now. We're going to push towards that for the rest of the year. And as the season dwindles, does, as is your career as a Sienna Saint, um, you know, what are your last thoughts, moments? favorite moments of being a Sienna Saint? Uh, at Sienna, I've only had great moments here. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, the great people, the great fans, and obviously the great basketball tradition here. Uh, it's something I'm going to remember for the rest of my life, um, and it's been a lot of fun. All right, well, thanks for Odie joining us today, and here are more highlights. Men's basketball continuing their homestand, welcoming Fairfield. Sienna's starting to heat up, winning three of their last four home games. Mitch Bonagero and the Saints would move into a tie for sixth place with a victory tonight. And he would refer to this one as a grind-out game, and it really was. Rob Poole igniting a 6-0 Siena run very early in the first half. Saints lead it 9-4. Close game now late in the first. Huge three by Rich Adu to give Siena the lead once again. He wasn't done. Another big three in the second by the freshman. He had two of only the three trifectas for the Saints tonight. Brookins on the other end would tie the game up here with a jumper. 41-41, 11.04 -41, left. But then the Stags, Maurice Barrow would score nine points the rest of the way. Another basket here in Fairfield used an 18-4 run to pull away from the Saints who fall to 4-8 in the match. In this week's feature story, the men's and women's basketball teams visited area elementary schools. Talking about the value of an education, Ivy Spate has the story. There's a lot of fans that look up to the Siena men's and women's basketball team, and the players got to see exactly how much. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, uh, the kids were great. Uh, they were a great thrill. Uh, they really enjoyed having us here. Uh, it was really important for us to come back and give, give back to the community that gives so much to us. Hey, welcome. welcome. And we're so you. glad you're here. Say that too. <laughs> they took part in the Adopt a School program, an event where the athletes visit elementary schools to stress the value of an education. Oh, this is a wonderful program that Sienna does, and it really reaches a lot of kids that don't know that Sienna is there or that other great institutions are around that they need to know about at this age. I think it means a lot to be able to get to the kids and tell them how important it is to work hard and get to college. You can do what you want to do in your future. For the players, it showed them that the little kids look up to them both literally and figuratively. And hearing the message from them put even more meaning behind the words. It means a lot because uh, you never know how strong your words are, 
are going to affect them. And so, like, a couple kids who said they want to be doctors one day, and just telling them that, like, you understand that you have to go to school and you have to work really hard, do your homework, study, and really focus to get there. And Everybody should have their hands up. School's awesome. Uh, I always have fun when I come to the schools. I mean, the kids, uh, they kind of look up to me, uh, see me as a role model. Uh, I just want them to know that, that I do well on the court and off the court. Uh, it gives them something to strive for when they get older. Body! 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 With all the teachings the players displayed, the most important aspect for them was just putting a smile on the kids' faces. I love it. I love the kids are so happy to see us. And uh, I mean, we're just regular people, but to them, uh, I mean, we're kind of superheroes. So it's awesome being able to make them smile and just highlight of their day. That's what we do all of this for every single day, just so the kids have a smile on their face. They need to be happy when they're here. And this really makes them happy and puts a smile on their face. We all remember the heroics from guard Ronald Moore in the 2009 NCAA tournament game against Ohio State. This week's trivia question is, what was Moore's field goal percentage in that game? If you know the answer, post on Facebook for your chance to win the Sienna Saints prize pack. And that's all for this week's Sienna Saints Weekly. Here's a look at this week's upcoming schedule. On Friday, February 8th, the men's lacrosse team travels to number four Johns Hopkins. Also, women's basketball plays Manhattan, while men's basketball travels to Loyola, Maryland. And on Sunday, February 10th, women's basketball plays Maris here in Loudonville, while the men's team plays St. Peter's in New Jersey. Thanks to Odie Anasicki for joining me today, and thanks for watching. Tune in next week for the trivia answer and your Saints news. Have a wonderful week.